Hello, hello, Kenny Evans here. And this is car video. Topic of this video is always have a plan when dealing with women. Before I get into the topic, we want to let you guys know this this channel is all about helping both men and women be the best they can be in all aspects of their life, dating, relationships, health, wealth, and mindsets. Being a complete person. All right. I want to help you guys be the uh, best versions of yourselves. Thank you um, for joining. You know, for you new people, thank you. Welcome back. Uh, for you returning people, thank you for coming and welcome back. And if you haven't already done so, subscribe, hit that notification button so you'll be notified for whenever I upload new videos. Of course, if you just like my videos or you just want to support me, hit the like button or that thumbs up. Thank you, and let's get back to the topic at hand. Always have a plan when dealing with women because... A lot of guys take plans not going well with women really hard. They take it personally. And they act like because things didn't go according to plan that they, they failed. You know what I mean? And that is not the right, right way to take you know, your, plan, your, uh, your plans not um, coming together with a woman. Because you never know what she got going on. You never know really who she is really you know what i mean so I mean, it's all about her she decides whether she wants to go on the date or not regardless of what happens outside of the world she decides what she wants to whether she wants to go on the date or not you know what i mean especially if she agreed to go on the date it's up to her to to go on the date you know what i mean so at least as long as you played your cards right you weren't texting her and calling her throughout the time you guys are waiting for the date and when you met or you set up the date um, but either way it is her job so you really never know what is going on in her life and with her but with that all being said it's not the end of the world if plans fall through with a woman and I'm going to give you four plans to be using in very specific situations just in case plans fall through with women and one bonus that you should always have in mind <laughs> but yes uh so wait to the end for the bonus very important it's a game changer really but yeah let's get into this first plan always have if a woman flakes on you while you are at the date venue Find other people to talk to. So don't let your night be ruined if a woman flakes on you while you are waiting for her to get on, uh, to go on the date. I had the situation happen to me. I was miserable. You know what I mean? It was the first time, you know, I'd actually gone on a date or, and, you know, and asked the girl out and she said she would show. She didn't show. I was sad at first. Uh, but then, and I... I got dressed up too, got my suit on, tie, I, I did the most, but uh, with that, you know, I just found other people to talk to for a little bit, watched a little bit, a little bit of TV at the bar, and after a while, I just left, you know, I was like, all right, it's her loss, you know what I mean, so it did hurt, I'll admit, um, but I was able to get over it, and the night wasn't ruined, found some cool people to talk to, so it was, it was, it was cool. Second plan, if a woman does not return your calls or texts, talk to other women. I know this is, it seems very simple and easy, but you would be surprised how many guys will stick to another woman uh, who does not call, who does not call them back or text them back. Thinking that as long as they just kind of <laughs> are persistent and constantly pedaling, uh, pedaling, <laughs> Pelting her with texts or phone calls, eventually she's gonna respond. You know, what I mean? but she never does. You know, I think you it's a it's a volley. It's like playing volleyball, as Corey Wayne would say, Coach Corey Wayne. You hit the ball over the net, now she gotta hit it back. And if she doesn't, move on. Sure, you could double text and and then uh, possibly get a response or even triple text. Cause it's true. You never know what someone is going on. What's someone high that's going on in their life? 
But at the same time, you look desperate, regardless if she responds. You look desperate. You know what I mean? And she always will have the power in that situation. You know? Unless your game is really tight. Your game has to be really, really tight. You know? But most guys just don't got it like that. You know? So it's easier just, if she doesn't respond, move on. Let her respond. And if she doesn't, then, you know, you got to go with somebody else. Third plan. If a woman doesn't do something that you really want her to do, then leave her and go talk to another woman. And this is all about just uh, if you're at the bar or something like that, that is what you would do. Uh, go talk to another woman who does not, who is going to be following your lead and will be more cooperative and helpful and easygoing um, because life is too short. You know, you really want to dance with this girl. She doesn't want to dance with you. You got to move on. Maybe she'll come back around and start dancing with you. Sometimes a girl, that is just, it's like a test. They want to see how you're going to respond if they kind of reject you, give you a mini rejection by not doing what you want. Ideally, I mean, sure, you could, if you want to play the long game, kind of work around and do all that. But if you see other women who you might want to talk to, Leave her and uh, go talk to the other woman. And maybe that woman who didn't want to dance with you may come back around later in the night. All right. So if you guys are still here, I appreciate it. Thank you. Um, again, subscribe, hit the notification button so you'll be notified whenever I upload some new videos. Thank you. Fourth plan to have when dealing with women. You must... Always realize if she is giving you subtle resistance, you must seduce her. It's just subtle. Maybe she's kind of, just kind of playing hard to get. You know, you see, she got a little smile. You know, she says, you want to say, hey, let's go to the bar. I like, no, I'd rather stay here. But you can kind of tell she's looking at you and she's being very seductive, kind of playing. She just really wants you to um, show her, in a way, how bad you wanted to go uh, with her. You know, so that way you could just kind of seduce her and say, oh, man, I already know you want you want to go. You're just playing hard to go with me. You know what I mean? I get it. You just, you just want a little bit more attention. But at the end of the day, I really want to get a drink. I really want you to come with me. So you got to stop playing with me. Let's go. We both can have a better time that way. You know what I mean? Now, unless if you got something better to do, um, maybe somewhere else. You know, just kind of seduce her. You know what I mean? Other than that, <clears throat> she'll probably say, no, all right, let's go. Grab her hand, and y'all walk to the bar. So, yes, yes, yes. It is very important if a woman gives subtle resistance, seduce her. So this is the bonus and most important tip when it comes to having a plan when dealing with women. You must have an abundance mindset. I know I mentioned this a lot in my previous videos, but it's only because it's so important. You must have an abundance mindset if you want to be able to have a plan for women. It's very important because having that abundance mindset will tell you, hey, Things will be all right. I can adjust. You know, whether you you could tell she's kind of playing hard to get, you assume she already likes you, or she flakes, or she flakes, or she's not returning calls, or she's just being too difficult and she really doesn't want to do something you want, you're like, okay, there'll be other women. Cool. Have a good night. It was nice to talk with you. Peace. You know, you must have an abundance mindset because it always keep, keeps you in that frame of mind where you realize, hey, if something doesn't work out with her, then there'll be somebody else. All right. Very important. Very important. So yes, that is all I got for y'all here today. Uh, let me know whether you agree, disagree with my, my plans. Uh, let me know if I missed any or if you think, you know, there's uh, some better plans I, I could have came up with or that you came up with. 
And of course, like, comment, subscribe, hit that notification button so you'll be notified for whenever I upload some new videos. Um, let me know what other topics you want me to talk about. You know what I mean? Let me know what other topics you want me to talk about. Not just the dating and relationship, you know, mindset, health, wealth, all that good stuff. Of course, if you found value in this video, um, donate. I appreciate it. And a little bit counts. Because this channel is all about you guys. It's not about me. It's about you guys. So uh, let me know. And until next week, y'all stay safe. And always remember, the strongest man is the happiest man.